said Turkey today, we got what we wanted as Turkish-backed fighters in northern Syria who'd been part of the onslaught against Syrian Kurds celebrated the pause in the violence brokered today in Ankara. Today, the United States and Turkey have agreed to a ceasefire in Syria. It's a five-day break from the Turkish assault announced by the U.S. Vice President. In that time, Syrian Kurds, the former U.S. allies, abandoned by U.S. forces last week on orders from the U.S. president, must now leave their land in northern Syria. It's to make a so-called safe zone along the border with Turkey, which sees the Kurds as a threat. Donald Trump will abandon plans to sanction Turkey, though Democratic lawmakers say they'll press on with their own regardless. Indeed, the U.S. retreat in Syria was again labeled a betrayal by Trump critics, among them, it's again, right even senior honor. Republicans. What we have done to the Kurds will stand as a blood stain in the annals of American history. This is an amazing outcome. Today, Trump underlined the assault that began when U.S. forces left would likely only worsen. It was going to be very nasty. Not only sanctions and tariffs, the war itself would have been very nasty. With Russian flags now seen flying in places formerly controlled by Kurdish and U.S. forces, Trump explained the threat of a longer, horrific war was itself an impetus for peace. You would have lost millions and millions of lives. They couldn't get it without a little rough love, as I called it. Said Trump, it's a great day for Kurds and for civilization. Adding the big state dinner planned for next month in Washington for Turkish President Erdogan is still on. Erdogan said Trump is a strong, tough man and a hell of a leader. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.